me just share my screen. Okay, so let me just check if you guys are already in front of your uh, computer. So again, just give me a thumbs up. Okay, so great. Most of you are already here. So let us now continue this one. So we've stopped right here. So this one is 4 to 6 to 60. 4 to 6 to 60. And then we have to remove this 10 right here. And then the, uh, what happened right here? Did you miss something? Ah, my bad. This one is not uh, else. So this one should be case now. Case, case, case. And then this one is case else. Okay, and then this end if is uh, end select. And select. Select case now, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Okay, so see, we have a neater code. We have uh, a code that is easier to understand. Okay, a very straightforward code. And then uh, display the same, okay? So uh, 0, I mean 1, the pin is P, and so on and so forth. So this one works the same as what we have a while ago, okay? Just a different syntax using a select, select case statement. Okay, so any questions so far? Questions or are we clear so far with the select case statement? Are you guys able to follow? Hello. Okay. Okay, great. Very good. So uh, that's how easy to convert uh, an if else statement into select case statement. Okay. So the same with this one, so I will not uh, show this one anymore since uh, they are just the same, okay? Because supposedly this will be your exercise, but, you know, due to lack of time and we don't uh, uh, have enough time to uh, discuss all of them and, you know, uh, for you guys to be able to do them also. So I will not give uh, those exercises anymore, okay? So we'll skip this one and then we will also skip this one. So anyway, they are just super the same. Just change this one into case 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 and then instead of having this one just uh have a select case and then variable factor okay for the uh statements uh they'll be uh they will stay the same okay so here's now your uh fifth quiz yeah quiz number five fifth quiz exercise number four a case statement so the deadline Okay, it's July 31, so you guys uh, exactly have uh, 10 days to do this one. So this one is super simple, okay? If you're uh, good with if-else statement, then maybe you can make this one work uh, using if-else statement. But if you think you can uh, go straight using a select case statement, okay, just like what we did in here, then uh, feel free to do that one, okay? So in here, just write a select case statement that tests the age variable and assigns the name of the favorite snap of that age group to the variable snap according to the following preferences. So just use the same, okay? <clears throat> just use a numeric up down, okay? So numeric up down and then a button to trigger and then display the word uh, yogurt, potato chips, chocolate, and then gum on a certain label, okay? So if the age is set, uh, between 7 to 12, then I, I must see uh, a favorite snap of potato chips. Okay, the same with the others. If it's 13 to 18, then it must be chocolate. If it's age uh, 18 or uh, over 18, then that must be gum. Okay? So are you guys able to follow this one? Your uh, fifth quiz. This is actually your last quiz. Okay? which is super easy also. Hello, hello. Any 
any questions with your uh, additional activity. Okay, so it seems that there is no question. All right, so moving on, uh, we have another exercise, but uh, then again, I will not uh, show this one to you guys anymore since uh, it's pretty the same, just uh, like what we did on the first example. Okay, so let's now move on to the message box, okay, which is another function. So there is a question. Uh, yeah, so vv.net, okay, let me just check. So upon creating a new project, So take note, I'm using 2019, and then this is the uh, interface of 2019 upon creating a new project. So all of them are .NET Framework, actually. So we have uh, WPF, we have Windows Forms Control Library, we have a uh, browser, uh, we have WPF User Control Library, uh, Windows Service, etc., etc. All of them are .NET Framework, okay? So the only thing that you guys need to choose is this uh, word right here. Okay, Windows Forms app. Okay, so uh, under this, we have uh, Desktop, Visual Basic, and that Windows. Okay, so don't uh, get wrong with this one because once you've chose the other platform, okay, then for sure we're going to have a different, uh, uh, in, let's say, uh, interfaces or setup, and then at the same time, the language that you're going to use. Okay, so this one is the one that you should. Uh, choose okay so windows forms up that net framework okay so i hope you're clear with that one mr uh Keanu. all right so let's now uh, continue this one so uh the message box so we have already uh you know have uh an idea what is a message box a while ago okay i mean last week <laughs> okay this one right here Okay, this is a message box where it has an OK button. You can even uh, put uh, an icon, okay, and then you can even change the uh, the title, okay. So this is the uh, complete syntax of the message box, okay. So on how you you're going to change the uh, the message, the type, and then the title, okay. So of course, from the word message box, this one displays a message optical optional icon and selected set of command buttons. So the user responds by clicking a button. Okay, so it will only be triggered uh, once uh, you have a click a certain button. Okay, maybe it will show a text, will show a solution, show a result. Okay, it can display anything as long as, as, as it's possible, okay? So here's the syntax. So message box and then the message. Okay, so the only one that we do is actually uh, displaying the message, okay, and our uh, uh, last, uh for an our uh examples using a message box we're not actually changing the type and then the title so in here we're going to discuss completely how to change the type and then the title so message is just a text message that you need to display okay and then type is a type of message box so you can uh change the icon type you can even change the button okay button type so initially it will give you a default uh button of okay button but of course you can uh call this one modify that one okay you can add uh, another button like okay cancel yes no uh, abort cancel uh what else so those only you will see uh, later on uh, what are the types or the kinds of button with that we can uh, put on a message box and then the last one is of course the title so very straightforward it is the text in title bar of a message box okay so we have this example <clears throat> So initially we have the message, okay, which is this one, welcome to VB2005 Express. Second is followed by the uh, type, okay. So in here we have this uh, syntax, message box style that information, which is this icon right here, okay. So as you guys can see, it's very straightforward. When you see information, we have this letter I right here. And then the last one is greetings, which is the title. So by default, since we didn't put here uh, the type of button that we're going to put, it will give us one option only, which is the OK button. Okay. So, so much with that. Let's have a more uh, in-depth uh, learnings when it comes to uh, kinds of uh, icon kinds of button. Okay. 
So let me show to you guys the types of icon first. So we have four types of icon. So the one that we have used on this one is the information icon, okay, which is this one. And then we also have exclamation point. In, let's just say that this is a warning icon, okay? And then we have a question, very, very, uh, very common. And then we have also a very common icon, which is a critical, a critical icon, okay? Or could be an error icon, okay? Or it's saying that uh, you did uh, something uh, wrong, okay? Or uh, it's trying to warn you that you have an error at that uh, on that uh, certain uh, area, okay? So in here, it's a warning, but in here, it's already a critical uh, icon, uh, meaning there, uh, there's already something wrong with the system, okay? So those are the usage of those icons. So question mark is, of course, very straightforward. So uh, you're asking a question, okay? This one is warning you, okay? Like, are you sure you want to delete this? Uh, this data, so yes or no, something like that. And then if it's information, then uh, mostly it only has one option, which is the OK button since it's just an information, okay? So uh, in here, you can use the, uh, where is it one? You can use the symbolic constant, okay? So the one that we have used before is the uh, message box style that information. So message box style that information, but you can actually use the value also, okay? So instead of using this entire text, you can you can just uh, put here 64. So later on, uh, I'll give you guys an example. But for now, let me introduce you guys the kinds of arguments or the kinds of button that you can display. So initially, of course, by default, we have this OK button, okay? If you want to have uh, another uh, option, you can have OK cancel, okay? It's just that I wasn't able to show in here, but I, we have OK cancel button here. And then we have uh, another option, which is abort, retry, and then ignore. So in here, we have the abort, retry, and then ignore. So the uh, third one, I mean, the fourth one is the yes, no, cancel. Okay, so you now have a yes, no, cancel button right here. Okay, and then we have yes, no button, and then we have retry, cancel button. So those are the kinds of button that you can put on a message box. Okay. So again, you can use this symbolic constant. You can type the entire text. Let's say message box style that OK only, message box style that OK cancel, message box style abort to try ignore, yes, no cancel, yes, no retry cancel, okay? But, uh, you know, if, if, you're, uh, you, if you were able to memorize the value and then the, uh, um, the meaning of that value, then it's a lot easier to use the value. So let's say you want to display uh, abort, retry, ignore, then you can just put their number two, okay? As simple as that. However, if you're not, uh, if, yeah, if you're not uh, familiar with the uh, values, I mean, the uh, content of those values, then you have to use the symbolic constant, okay? Which is longer, but, uh, you know, uh, a lot easier to implement uh, due to this uh, text right here. You already know that the first option is abort, the second option is retry, and then the third option is ignore. Okay, so on and so forth. All right, so let's have this example right here. So uh, in here, we have the message box, and then the uh, information, delete the record, and then the first one is the message box tell that question, okay, which is the icon, followed by the plus sign, meaning, okay, so this is not the one that you're going to modify the uh, button, okay? So we have message box tell that yes and then no so as you guys can see we have yes option and then a no option right here okay and then followed by the title which is greetings so you can use this one using the symbolic constant or you can use just the value okay so in here we have the uh, message which is the same delete the current record okay followed by the number which is the icon 32 so 32 going back right here 32 is the question mark Okay, and then right here, four, okay, plus four, don't forget the plus sign. Four, okay, in uh, type of argument of button is a yes, no button, okay. So as you guys can see, it will display uh, the same content, okay. And then the last one is the title, which is the greetings. Okay, so either of those two will be fine. So you can use the symbolic constant 
or via text only, okay? Or you can use uh, the value, okay, of this icon and then the value of this uh, type of argument, okay, which is this one. So were you guys able to follow so far? on how to change the kinds, uh, the type of arguments, the type of icons. Okay, so uh, I highly suggest uh, you guys to uh, do this one on your own uh, Visual Studio, okay, because you will not appreciate this one unless uh, you do this one on your own, okay. So try to change the, uh, the uh, message information, you, you try to change the title, and then try to uh, you know uh, change the kind of arguments, try try to change the uh, type of icon, so and so on, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the uh, display. Okay, but what will happen if I click yes? How how do I program this yes button right here? How do I program this no button right here? Okay, so what are the actions that I will do once I click yes? So what are the actions that I will do once I click no? Okay, so actually all of those, those okay, uh, cancel button, abogotra, ignore, yes, no, cancel, they have a specific returning value. Okay, so let me introduce to you guys this uh, returning value. So once you have clicked the okay button, okay, it will return a value of one. Okay, once you click the cancel button, it will return a value of uh, two. <clears throat> okay, once you click uh, abort, it will return three. The try is four, ignore is five, yes is six, or no is seven. Okay, so uh, you can have two returning values actually. Okay, it's either the value or the symbolic constant. So either of those two will be fine. You can call uh, any of those two. So if, if uh, the message box tells that abort is triggered, okay, then uh, what are the actions that you will do? So let me show to you guys an example and how to uh, put the value of that one. So just simply declare a value, uh, a variable. Okay, let's say dim x as the integer, and then equate uh, this entire message box. Okay, and then whatever is the uh, option that uh, the user have chose, let's say yes. Okay, then it will return a value of six on our variable x. And then you can now call that variable x, let's say if x is equal to 6, then followed by your statements. Okay, so you can uh, do that one. Or you can use select case statement. Select case x, case 6. So if the value is 6, then uh, what are you going to uh, display? Okay, what are the statements that you are uh, going to display? Okay, so if uh, you the user chose a no, then no is uh, seven, so your x now has a value of seven. Okay, so we only have two possibility of value right here. Okay, so we have the six and seven. Okay, so uh, another example. Okay, so in here, uh, message box, and then this is an example of a message box, which is the uh, content or the message. And then one is information. Okay, this is the, uh, ah, my bad. 64 is the icon. Okay, just take note that uh, when it comes to icon, we only have uh, 16, 32, 48, and 64. But when it comes to type of argument, so we only have 0 to 5. Okay, so uh, that is the, uh, let's say, pattern, okay, on how to identify uh, when it comes to values. Is this, in, is this an icon or is this uh, the uh, type of argument? Okay. So again, if I see a uh, type of argument, it's only zero to five. But when it comes to icon, we have this kind of value 16, 32, 48, and then 64. So it keep, uh, keeps on incrementing by 16, okay? Starting from uh, the value of 16 up to 64. So one thing that you guys will notice right here, okay? So you can interchange those two, okay? So 64 could be here or 64 could be here. So if those two uh, will be fine since you know, uh, there is no exactly same values when it comes to icons and then uh, type of arguments. So you can interchange those two. Okay. And then one is this uh, type of argument, the OK cancel. Okay. OK cancel this one. Value is one and then OK cancel. Okay. 
So if I click, I'll say OK, then this will have a value of uh, I don't know, 7. Uh, 7 ba? Ah, hindi pala. So yes pala. OK is 1, okay? It will have a value of 1, okay, for this x. And if I click Cancel, it will give us a value of 2, okay? So let me show to you guys one example of this one. I think I have an example for select case. Uh, okay, cancel message box. So this is my example last year, okay, or la last time I think. Okay, I created this one, so I, I cannot uh, give them a uh, uh, a good example. So this is where I, I've come up. So I, I I did where is this one? So are you single? And then so this is a button. So once you click is one, so it will give you an option. Uh where is this one? Button to button. Button one naman. Are you single? And then question number one. Okay, wait a second. Okay, let me just try this one for now. Are you single? Ah, I see. This one is the uh, the uh, example of input box. Okay, so uh, later on we'll discuss this one. But for now, uh, let's skip this one, okay? So the one that we're going to uh, focus with is the button number two, okay? This, this uh, question, do you have a son or daughter? So, okay, first, let me show to you guys how this one works. Okay, so in here, if I click yes, then uh, it will display this uh, text right here, yes, I have. But if I click no, then it will display this uh, uh, text right here, no, I don't. Okay, so just do take note that when we say yes, no, okay, we have a specific value for that one, where in yes, is 6 and then no is 7. So if x is equal to 6, then it will display this yes I have on our label to the text. Okay, and then if I choose no, then it will display uh, this value right here. Okay, or this at text right here rather, which is no, I don't. Okay, so this is the text, okay, or the message. And then this is the uh, kind. I mean the type of icon, okay, which is a question. So we can change this one into 64. 64 button. Ah, 1632. Oops. 32. We can change this one into 32 and then followed by yes, no. Yes, no is tuba. Okay, let's try this one. I'm not sure if it's too bad. Let's see. Uh, let's abort or try ignore. So let's not do. Is it where I think? If this is not correct, then I have to go back to my. Ah, yeah. So four. So yes and then no. Okay. So again, you can use the value or the symbolic constant. Okay. So again, uh, if you are like me, wherein I, I don't know the. Uh, the content of this value right here, then you can use the symbolic constant for in message box style that yes, and then no. Okay. Give me the same uh, result. Okay. All right, so that's it for the uh, oh, bakit may error dito? message box style. It's the previous one. Message box. I don't know why why it's having a squiggly red line. So yeah, you can use the symbolic constant or uh, those uh, values. So you can also combine them. Let's say you can use a value right here, or you can use a symbolic constant right here. So it's also okay. Okay. So yeah, that's it for this uh, example using a message box. So, were you guys able to follow so far? Okay. 
Okay. Okay, very good. So let's now move on to the last topic, which is the input box. Okay. So this is another function which is similar with the uh, message box. It's just that in here we don't have an option. Okay. So uh, the thing that we're going to do here is we're going to input something. That's why this one is called input box. So this one displays a message and returns a string containing the contents of the input box. Okay, so here's the syntax. Uh, this one could be any variable name as long as you've declared this variable as a string. So that's why you, I, I put here a string var or str var, okay, which is equal to input box. The first one is a message, which is similar with the uh, message box style. Okay, but in here, okay, it's now followed by the title. So uh, in our message box, the title is at the end, okay, of our uh, syntax right here. But in here, it's on the second uh, parameter, okay? First parameter, second parameter, and then third parameter. So the third parameter is uh, optional, okay? You can actually put a default value on that uh, input box. So uh, without a further uh, ado, let me introduce to you guys uh, this example. Super, super uh, basic example. So we have the uh, message, which is this input name, followed by the title, which is data entry. So as you guys can see, we only have two parameters in here. So if we, we put a one more parameter, that's already at the default value of this input box. However, it's just optional. Okay, so uh, if you leave this one blank, then it will not display anything, which is the same as this one. It displays nothing. Okay, but if you want to have a default value, so you can have an additional one, which is, let's say, one de la cruz. So you can now have a default value on this input box. Okay. So what else? You can also put here a question that text. So meaning, uh, let's just say that this is a, a helper text, okay? Wherein it's not really your input. It's just uh, reminding the user that you have to put here a question. Okay, so of course, uh, the user has to delete this one and then start putting the question and then click uh, OK to uh, open that uh, question or that file name, okay? So that's actually it already. So these are just knowledge check. So we have one to nine of this one. So uh, I will not discuss this one anymore because this one is uh, much, uh, let's say, uh, more on your side already, okay? This, is, um, uh, this will just check. Uh, what are the things that you've learned okay so please uh try to answer uh all of them okay this will help you to uh understand more how to use if statement uh understand more how to use a randomizer okay how to use uh using a message box how to use select case statement and so on and so forth okay so let me just uh have or let's just have one uh, last example using this uh, input box right here, using this uh, example right here on the first uh, button. So instead, uh, it says here, are you single? So you can actually put any uh, string right here and then uh, once I click OK, it will display on the label one, okay? So if I click cancel, of course, it will do uh, nothing, okay? So in here, are you single? Then you can put uh, any string, let's say yes, and then it, it will be recorded on this uh, label uh, text right here. So there you go. So yeah, that's it for the uh, module eight. So we have one more uh, module, which is the module nine. So uh, we'll start discussing that one uh, next meeting. However, just a reminder as early as of now so that you guys can prepare. So of course, we have additional uh, four activities uh, for this uh, module eight. We have uh, three quizzes and then one case study. So just read them. The due date of those is July 31. Okay. And then for the last module, okay, I would like you guys to uh, check this one. Okay. So this is a working uh, mini pizza ordering system. Okay, so please do download this RAR, okay, RAR file for you to be able to see, okay, the code. Okay, you can base your uh, final uh, laboratory right here, the lab number nine, okay, 
uh, on this uh, 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 file of mine that I created. Okay. So lab number nine is the uh, pizza. Okay. We're in, uh, that's actually your lab number lab number uh, seven, okay, which is the interface only. But in lab number nine, this one now is a complete working uh, pizza, uh, pizza ordering system, okay? So once I click this, uh, let's see, a uh, radio button, once I activate the radio button, then uh, if I click compute total uh, amount, then it will, it should display a certain amount, okay? So please do check this one. Uh, yeah, this one uh, for you to be able to uh, see uh, how is, it working or you can just download this exe file okay and then uh, you will see here how it works okay so let me just show to you guys real quick so let me download this one so some was inibion so let's start anyway so this is the uh executed uh file executed file uh yeah a working uh, application, okay? So in here, we only have three options. So uh, this uh, checkbox is to uh, call this one unlock, okay? Uh, this are uh, radio buttons right here. So if I uncheck this one, then this will uh, deactivate this one, uh, uh, this radio buttons right here. So if I want to order three pizza, then just check all of them. And then medium is uh, 185 for the pepperoni. And then for the small of balloonies plus medium of pepperoni will give me a result of 260. If I want to add more, let's see Hawaiian, then a total of 529 pesos. Okay, so what if I want to cancel my order? So just simply deactivate this one or uncheck this uh, checkbox right here, and then it will be deducted on my uh, computed value right here. So the same with balloonie, the same with pepperoni, which is a uh, zero PHP. Okay. So yeah, and then uh, again, you can uh, see the code uh, of this mini pizza ordering on this uh, mini pizza ordering RAR that RAR. Okay, just download this one and then extract this one and then open this one as, uh, or open this one on your Visual Basic, okay, or open that one as a project, then you will see the code of mine uh, on the uh, pizza. Okay, and then last one, for your lab number 10, okay, this is now the complete working uh, lab number eight. Okay, so before it's just interface, but uh, in here, it is now a complete working, uh, so you can actually download this one again, because this is already a working, okay, lab number eight. This is not just an interface, it's MP2-1. So this is already a working uh, program. Let's see, we have 10 volts. So if I click compute, it will give me these uh, results right here on the series. And that will give me this result right here for the parallel. And then this result right here for the combination. So for this one, you can find a lot of similar examples on uh, module seven. Yeah, module seven. We have many of those, so please do check them, okay? So the only thing that uh, you guys need to uh, maybe uh, uh, research about is how to uh, solve or how to find the formula of this combination. For the parallel, I guess you can find a lot of uh, similar example with this one on the internet. So you can figure out what is the uh, correct formula for this uh, parallel. And for the series, we, we have a lot of example of this one, okay, on the module seven. So just... Uh, to check again the module 7 and you will see how to uh, do this total resistance, total current, voltage drop on uh, R1, voltage drop on R2, etc, etc. Okay. So, yeah. That's about it. And then uh, lastly, of course, is the case study number 7. So the due date of this one is August 5. So the same with the uh, other uh, activities. Uh, oh, my bad. Okay, so I mentioned a while ago that this is already your last quiz, but we have one more quiz, which is the sixth quiz, okay, which is the add numbers. So don't mind this one for now since the due date is uh, August 5, exactly uh, two weeks. So uh, just uh, check this one on next meeting. Once we're done with the discussion on module 9.
And then after that is, of course, now your uh, final exam. Okay, so the date of your final exam is uh, August 3, 4, and then 5, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. So just uh, make sure to finish all of those uh, laboratories before, uh, before, before uh, August 5, okay? So yeah, that's it. So do you guys have a question so far? Or any violent fraction? Okay. So if you guys don't have a question anymore, then uh, that's it. Uh, uh, just give me thumbs up and then you guys may know go. And then let's just meet again next meeting. Okay, so goodbye and thank you guys for coming. Goodbye and thank you, sir. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Sir? Yes? Ay, sir, yung napas ko pala sa lab 7 at 8, may codes na pala, sir. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, that's that's see, perfect. Sir. Okay, submit mo na lang din sa lab 9 and then yung may code na yun. Okay? Thank you, then, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank congrats, you, sir. tapos ka na. Okay. <laughs> see you, sir. See you, see you. Goodbye.